initializing caution files. Please stand by. Is that right, boys? All right. Anyways, this man, like I said, is named Kip. Apparently, like I said, he is a YouTuber. I've, I've checked out his YouTube. Also, now learned quite a lot from him. I, I I don't know how this works in terms of competitiveness. I see like it's just a very big map, eight players normally, and they're taking each other on one v one. Like, um... oh man, no, you're not fighting with Harkonnen, man. Fucking hell! Now I now I need to support Kip, because like Harkonnen is the is my favorite faction, just because of the Sar Dalkar. I think I think they're pretty cool. Anyways, nah, representing Open RA versus Kip, representing. What the fuck? No explored map. Yo, let me let me let me let me take a couple of nuts for this. I want some nuts. Okay. So. Explored map off. Um. I think it's cool sportsmanship from Kip to play on open RA. I'm not sure what the the terms were for this match or the agreements they made but uh, Kip is obviously playing on the open RA engine so it might feel a little bit different for him for sure might have to play a role in that but he's here representing see and seen it no terms Hmm. Surprised he just decided to play on like unknown territory, but I don't know. Maybe he played a lot of June on Open RA as well. But it's interesting for me to see to how the game is supposed to be played. I mean, I know I played against Na a couple of times. But I see like he's not really paying concrete concrete for every building which is something that I was that I did just because I'm a moron okay so both going oh Kip is going for a light factory as well so you've got you got light factories in here and heavy factories heavies obviously produce like tanks and shit light factories produce more like yeah buggies and bikes is a good comparison I think the trike. I think it's called a trike or a trine. I'm not sure. I think it's. I think it was a trike. But they are pretty comparable to to buggies, I would say. And this game definitely has its charm. I think probably one of the factors that I. I mean, I hate sandworms. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes they're just... I think the worst game in June that I ever had was I built my first refinery and my harvester was going for the, sp for the spice and all of a sudden it said worm sign or whatever and the worm just spawned under my first harvester and ate it and I was broke. I was like, fuck this game. <laughs> I was done. But yeah, it's just... Uh, you need a lot of harvesters. It's kind of similar to what I was doing to Ty uh, in Tiberius Sin the previous game, because I sold my MCV. It wasn't. It's not possible to build on terrain like this. It's only possible to build on terrain here. So, in order to like make up for the long potting you have to do, it's best to just spam lots of harvesters. And later on, you can the carryalls you're seeing here. They can later be built, and they will transfer your spice harvesters from the spice field to the refinery. But I, I think that's like tier 3 technology, if I recall correctly. But I will definitely boost your eco, and that's definitely something you want. As you can see right here, both players are just massing harvesters right now, just making sure their eco is on top, and they can just start spamming away. 
Because that's basically all they're doing right now. And also, yeah, harvesters are definitely important here. So, uh... Usually becomes the case of who can protect her harvesters the best. And sometimes battles in June can be really cool. I mean, there's not that much micro intent, um, micro and going going on in terms of engagement itself, but the actual engagement is pretty cool. It's I, I guess it's more similar to the two TD where it's more relying on army compositions and like unit of variety. Wow. Yo, Trike's actually pretty good against the combat tank. What the fuck? What the fuck? Combat tank is actually missing a lot of... Well, not anymore because they're driving on the slow terrain, but... Wow. I didn't know that. They seem like a pretty good counter to uh, combat tanks. <laughs> wow. Happy with the opinions about Dune. CNC versus Open RA, man. Doesn't matter if it's Dune or not. It's always nice to see if we can beat the CNC net boys. Alright, so Siege Tanks are coming into play. So that means big boy artillery for nah and i'm not sure what kip is up to but kip is not really going for combat tanks at all he's only starting to do so now very strange not in the lead for sure also has way more cash Less harvesters though. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if anyone's going to take this position. I feel like this is a pretty good position to take. I actually wonder if even if anyone is even going to build an extra har an extra MCV, but I, I assume they would. I feel like Kip is setting up to do so. The only thing that I not really get is that I feel like the rifles, like infantry, does look a lot better than it did in RA or TD. But I feel like, I don't know, like the models for tanks and stuff? Yeah, I don't know. If you compare them to a medium tank or a heavy tank, there's more de detail into it, but I'm guessing it's more like the designs they went for for tanks. Like, the difference between a siege tank and a combat tank is, a, is really poorly to me. Like, in comparison to, like, artillery and V2 or, like, medium tank. You know, medium tank versus artillery or heavy tank versus V2. Okay, now on the move. Kip knows about it. Not sure if he can handle it already. Should be able to. Lots of rocket density from... Uh, actually, he's only, he's only building rockets, it seems. Yeah. No rifles. Huh. Okay. So, rifles useless? Probably. Not sure. I don't think they are. Okay, let's see. So basically combat tanks and artillery versus combat tanks and artillery. The only difference is now he's having rifles and Kip is going for rockets. So I'm not sure how this is going to go down. But not going for it.
Man, Siege Tank just jack shit versus combat tanks. Keep microwing his siege tanks to do damage to the infantry, it's smart because that's the only thing they're effective for. And literally the only thing. And now using the trines or trikes, whatever, yeah, trikes to deal with the siege tanks. There is a bit more micro coming into play here in terms of army control by Na. Which is which is still making a slight difference here. So yeah, not just using his units well. Using the trikes to kill the siege tanks and the infantry basically. The rifles are trying to kill these. But it's tough. But yeah, the trikes have definitely been good. Trying to snipe those siege tanks in order to press on. And he's doing a decent job maintaining his own siege tanks. So this is this was pretty good en engagement for sure. Ooh. Also, they have the same artillery sound as a uh, RA. Oh. Oh, yikes. Yep. He's going to try and bite Na in the ass here. Oh, what's that? Sonic tank. Haven't seen that a lot. But yeah, we've got the... Uh, Start port up and we've got the tier 3 basically. We should have some carryalls coming into play pretty soon. Yeah, but this is going to hurt. These boys can deal some pretty fast damage versus harvesters. And I don't think that Na is aware that this is going on. Okay, he is. Might lose a harvester still. Meanwhile, now retreating over here, splitting off his forces, might be good. Not that much activity from Kip going on in his main base. Basically betting a lot on this attack. Also kept most of these alive. Okay. I remember with playing with wait high medium tank in G Day played June. Damn. Missile tank. I mean, to be fair, June has never been a part of my childhood ever. But like I said, I I only knew about June because of Open RA. But yeah, like, if things happen like these, pretty interesting to watch. Well, hmm, Kip's army is, isn't doing bad here. God damn, Sony tanks really blow up combat tanks though. But Kip is pushing with his infantry, basically. It's, it's the infantry that's doing it. Let's switch over to combat tab. Still, army value is looking into Nas' favor. Oh, and he has brought an MCV over here. Wait, two even. Why? Why two? Is, is, is it just to spill up the, the building process? I guess so. Guess that makes sense. And keep with the double expansion. But he's taking control over that middle, like I said. Might be a good position to have control over. And Kip is coming closer in terms of army family. Let's see. Still struggling with cash though. Does have more harvesters than Nas nah, still. Uh, maybe he has maybe he has a lot of Ooh! This is that army that was splitting off. Killing a lot of harvesters already. 
think already one or two have, have gone down. Another one is going to fall. That one is definitely going to go down. You have to be careful though, because in this game they don't evade crushes, I believe. And infantry is easily to be crushed. Man, that siege tank is getting value out of there. Yup. Oh, it's still alive! Wait, what the fuck? That's the pressing damage. That was a pretty good eco raid though from Na. That is going to... Yeah. Keep his... Stalling, and he's been stalling for quite some time. He's also sending everything back. We've got Devastators coming in place, and these are pretty much the big boys. I guess they're relatable to Soviet mammoths, basically. They're not to be messed with. They're really strong. I think they're one of the strongest tanks in this game. I haven't seen Sardaw cars come into play, but I'm not, I'm not sure if Sardaw cars are pretty good to begin with. Luckily, I don't think... Luckily for Kip, I don't think Nas aware of the expansions that are going on here. But at this point, he could use... Some carry-alls, maybe, to keep his harvester safe. Or at least a little bit safer. He's losing a lot more. And you don't want to be losing harvesters. Yeah, Kip is being pushed all the way back. He's going into turtle mode. Giving free reign for Nash. Oh, he's not going to... Is he going to check it out? Or is he just going... No, he's just going to pump more forces over there. Another harvester going down. Maybe. Looking good here for Kip already. Surprised these expansions are just chilling over here in the midst of the chaos. Another big battle going down. It's a lot of rocket boys once again and devastators. I'm not sure if not is able to hold here. The missile tanks are also really strong. But I forgot that against what... I, I believe they're strong against vehicles. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, they might be. They might be a good counter versus the Devastators. But uh, Kip is definitely coming back with sheer... Just with pure power. Lots of Devastators coming in, but yeah, now he's just going to back out. And... Okay, he saw the Spice Harvesters from Kip over here. So I'm assuming he can finally deal with that expansion, because that is just, yeah, completely unscouted at this point. And that is one of the reasons that Kippy's eco hasn't been hurt that much. Oh, I think that's an equivalent of the para bombs. I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god, man! Now he's getting completely pushed back here by all of these devastators, and it's a lot of them. Holy shit! Yep, Kip is moving up 40k, and there is now trying to kill off the expansion. I think he should make it because, like I said, Kip's army is really slow. And more harvesters are going down here. Oh yeah, oh, oh for sure. Yeah, 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 Kip is definitely going to lose this expansion before this army even arrives. Yep, all the refs are getting killed. No more eco there. That is going to hurt Kip quite a lot. If Look at the cash difference already. Now he's floating 16k. Definitely needs to spend more needs more I think he's probably already quite I 
Yeah. Maybe he can build a couple more racks, but besides that, I think that's it. I think he's all maxed out. I'm trying to see what's actually doing some really good damage versus these Devastators. And I believe it's the missile tanks. I'm not entirely sure. Because I know the, the, the siege tanks are jack shit. I'm not sure if the sonic tanks are good. They don't really seem to do good damage. Oh man, but that's still a lot of Devastators. Look at that. They're getting close to Nas expansion as well though. Yeah, now he's getting completely closed in. Almost Blitzkrieg tactic here. That's a lot of fucking Devastators. Yo, no, nah, you're in some trouble, man. Holy shit. So scared used to stream Dune as well. Well, if, th if there were a lot more people, but usually when I look at Dune, I don't see a lot more people, but I, I don't know. Like, I'm also not, not really paying attention to it either. Because that's how it always has been, as far as I can remember. I used to play with Sir Cake sometimes, along with Bane as well on Sundays. When he used to do his, uh, his Dune Sundays. Played a couple of times against Na as well. Wow, Rocket Turrets. I can't recall the last time I've actually seen static defenses being used in Dune. At least not with the battles that we did. Or not that many. But maybe the rocket turrets are crucial here for the Devastators. They are really slow They ha and the gun turrets have... Rocket turrets have decent range. So... At least Kip is... Going back. Has a decent expansion here in the middle. Pretty good outpost. Give can give you really good map control. Especially if you expand from there. This is one giant army of devastators. Let's see if Nock can do anything about it though. Cause yeah, those are not tanks to fuck around with. Oh wow, actually those missile quads are pretty decent. Seems like a Tesla tank versus light tank story. I believe the missile quads are probably a lot more cost efficient in dealing with them. Not sure what happened over here. Something. Okay, the rocket soldier are doing a decent job as well. Devastators are all around, but they don't have like an infantry turret and a miss and a tank turret like in R8 the Mammoths do. So wow. Man, all of these devastators are getting destroyed. Meanwhile, I, we know that there was a small eco flank coming. It seems like Na has seen it coming. It's still going to be devastating. Those are all rocket soldiers. If they can get to a harvester. Yeah, that's that harvester is going to melt for sure. Meanwhile, Na is able to clean everything up here. Lots of devastators have been killed. And that is going to even out the army value score a little bit here. Meanwhile, harvesters are becoming victims of Kip's attack. I don't think he's really... Uh, yeah, I think he's microwing actually. I'm not in... I think he is. Using the siege tank to try and keep his devastator safe. It's not really working out. Yeah, now that harvester is going to be melted, like I said. Rocket soldier is really strong here. And the army from now is being pushed back. And quite severely as well. On the retreat, keep pushing. Keep playing pretty good here. But yeah. Nal told me that he learned a lot from his YouTube videos. And he's pretty well known on the other side. So. Seems like he doesn't bother with going with rifles at all. 
Meanwhile, there's the eco strike. Oh my god, this is a pretty good split from Kip here. Going straight onto more spice harvesters from Na. Lots have been killed so far. And this is not good, man. Kip is actually taking war factories down. That will reduce his production just like it. I think it works just the same as in RA. The more you have, the faster your production goes. Power plants are being killed. This is decent damage, man. Now also being low power, which will slow him down. Down to 16 harvesters versus 28. God. I, I believe the outpost is I, I believe outpost is radar tech. God damn. 32k versus 52k. Not in trouble here. Seems like this time now it's going to send off a small force to eco harass. But yeah, that was a big blow from Kip and huge army coming his way as well. Lots of infantry this time. And this poor harvester or harvesters are just going to get completely demolished here. That harvester was getting some kills. All right. So now he's actually going to send that force towards the same engagement. Trying to attack from multiple angles here. Maybe he can get some decent attacks, but that is still a giant army. But maybe if he can focus this down and deplete Kip's army just a little bit, he might be favored. There's the army coming from Kip. Lots of rifles this time from now, trying to counter the rockets. Might succeed here, actually. Ooh. Yeah, keep is sending his rockets forward. Okay, now he's going to finish this off first. It should be good. Weird battle. But uh, Kip's still ahead. Taking more expansions as well. So is Na. God damn. Ooh. Okay, he can't get he can't get over this. Okay. Oh, Kip is going to see that. Oh my god. Huge army. Yep, sees the harvesters. Now, now really has to defend that. Oh, this is pretty good as well. Trying to deny harvesting from here. Yeah, now he's still in trouble, man. Now you're still in trouble. What are you going to do about it? Tell us. Are you going to poop out more refineries? Okay. Harvesters being used as crushing boys. And as target practicing dummies. Yep. More refineries being pooped out. I think now he's going to use all of his harvesters, which is a good idea. They are pretty beefy units. Probably the vehicles with most health maybe besides the devastators I think the rifles are still really good here I don't think it's good from uh, from Kip to only re rely on rocket soldiers here
Meanwhile, keep moving in over here as well. Among all the chaos that is going on over here. Pretty good idea from Kip. You can definitely see that he knows that he knows how to play, which is good. Pretty entertaining so far. You don't see it. You don't. It doesn't happen a lot if you see some high quality dude matches. Yeah, that's way too much siege, siege tanks. I think Nah should be fine. Oh yeah, for sure he should be fine. Meanwhile, he's got this secured, basically. Let's look over at the eco part, because that's where Nah was struggling. Yeah, he's getting slightly almost out of cash. Doesn't have that much harvesters, but lost a lot in the process over here. And has taken some damage, but looking good. Seems like he's trying to recover, and I think he actually might. Man, there's stuff going on everywhere right now. Alright, here comes the trikes once again. They were pretty good at dealing with the siege tanks, and look at that. They are really good at doing that here. It's basically the same as, like, a flak truck taking out an RD, I believe. Pretty similar to that. But that was nice use of the trikes for sure. Lots of artillery died there. Only two siege tanks left to deal with. Harvester once again being used to get good engagements or good trades. And that harvester actually did a lot of soaking. Really important soaking too. And here, man, these rocket soldiers are going to get fucking destroyed by these rifles. Let's see how the battle on the other side was going. It seems like Nog got basically destroyed here. So he's going to send every reinforcements over here. For now, he's retreating over here as well. More harvesters going down, man. He's still he's still taking a beating at the same time. It's 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 clutch, really clutch. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew. Always bullseye. Oh, God damn, man. That's 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 still a fuck ton. Let's check out combat value here. Yeah, keep still, still ahead. Com destroyed lost tab is really close though. But I feel that keep early on had some really good eco harassments. Took a couple of uh, power plants out. Forced not to be low power. And now Nah here trying to return the favor. What? That came out of the ground and immediately got sucked back in. I think he's just purely doing that for uh, for harvesters and to not stop production of tanks or whatnot. Every tank is important here. A tank less might make a difference. Damn. Huge army from Nas sitting here in the bottom. Whoo. Lots of harvesters chilling here, but new wave of forces coming in. New wave of forces from Kip going to the main from Na. Might catch him off guard. Meanwhile, Na is occupied, keeping his expansion safe. One of his more crucial uh, expansions, I would say, in terms of eco. Oh man, this, these siege tanks are destroying that infantry. Okay, still not going in here. Oh man these forces yep cutting off the reinforcements from now nah. that's a pretty big army that got around and keep is putting on the pressure man 
attacking from multiple angles at the same time trading really well with some of his armies can not do it can he bring it back every time I feel like he's able to do it Kip does these insane attacks but in this case he's not really trading well here actually now he's trading really well with these missile quads and the rocket soldiers versus the devastators yeah he's, the composition from Kip isn't really working out right now taking really really bad engagements here This might be the combat factor that Na needed. This right here. Na needs strikes over here to deal with the siege tanks if he can. But he's trying to get the... He's trying to isolate the harvesters. Pick them off one by one. Anyone interested to play around after this? Can you check the harvester count? Yeah, sure, man. 32 for Na and 35 for Kip. So it's getting closer. Yeah, Na should have this over here. Might struggle a little bit on the other side, but it seems like he switched production, so he's expecting it. Looking good. And yeah, I, like I said, after that one engagement, I think Na is going to be able to take control of the situation once again created some breathing room for himself right now after countless of eco harassments from kip have been thrown nas away but it seems like he'll be able to recover for now surprised neither player actually invested in carry all spot oh man Now it's coming closer though. Keep starting to... I wouldn't say struggle. But now it's definitely coming out ahead. Ooh, lots of forces are on the move from Kip. Hmm... Oh, yeah, that's not... Oof, man, if he loses that, that's a lot of missile quads. Have the potential to deal a lot of damage. Seems like Kip is going to send everything over there as well. Preparing for a mass attack. Yeah, just basically everything is sent over. There goes the missile quads. They're trying to take out the siege tanks, but they're being met with infantry... The best counter versus missile quads, basically. I don't have to explain you that. Oh man, lots of these missile quads are definitely being wasted here. Not sure why. The Devastator is doing pretty good trying to pick off the Rocket Soldier, but now he's just moving in. He has enough. I don't think this army composition from Kip is going to cut it. Here comes the Trikes. To try and deal with the siege tanks in the back. It's not being micro yet, man. Battle is unfolding almost. It, it's the entire screen. What the fuck? I think Nash should. Oh my god, most of Kip's army is still. Still needs to arrive. It's a pretty good concave as well. He's trying once again, he's trying to do the same tactic, closing in on the army from left and right. I like that. The only thing that is happening to him most of the time, luckily for him now doesn't have rifles, is that his rockets usually go out in front. And that, yeah, usually like that. He's losing a lot of units just for that. Keep my... Yeah, Kip is going to come out on top here. Once again, pretty good engagement for Kip.
Oh, but now he's dealing some good damage over here. Kip was just focusing everything that he had onto that attack. Still is a threat, but... I think now will be okay. From the looks of it, and he still has that army that is going Kip's way. It's going towards the main this time, using the missile quads to kill the harvesters. And this is the first time since a long time that Kip's harvester count has been under Nas harvester count. Okay, now he's persistent. He's going to move forward. I think he can do it actually. Kim just, just started production on this side. Might still be able to deal some decent damage. Lots of siege tanks as well. So he's trying to anticipate on the mass infantry count that is going to happen. And then the rocket boys should be able to take out the devastators here. Yup. Yeah, okay, this could be... This could be trouble for Kip. And he's also focusing his attention on to trying to do the same damage to Na here. I'm not sure that is going to work out. There is Siege Tank supporting this. Once again, his rocket soldiers are leading the front lines. And they're just going, they're sending, they're going to be sent straight into the Siege Tanks while they are focusing down the riflemen of Na. This is not going to work out and Kip is going to redirect his attention to the main base. Let's see how it's going over here. Nas infantry is getting depleted though. Siege tanks are trying to deal damage as much as they can. I'm not sure if he's going to trade efficient here. But he's just going to let them sit there. That's good. Okay, seems like keep. Oh, okay. So here you can see that Na has gone for carry all technology. So you can see that the carryalls are being picked up and transported to the harvester and vice versa. So that's a significant boost to your eco for sure. Man, his, dev his devastator tanks are being picked up by these rocket soldiers and that's definitely not cost efficient here. Not sure what Kip... Oh, Kip has other problems. Yep. Big quad missile quad raid from Na onto more eco and more harvesters from kip and he's getting to kip this time wait why does not only have 25 harvesters what the fuck happened did i miss something maybe in that giant battle he lost a lot of harvesters as well but uh yeah now he's doing some pretty decent damage with this missile quad raid saved up a lot of missile quads to catch kip off guard here doing Loss of damage to this expansion. Power plants going down. Harvesters going down. Refineries are being sold. And there's just so many, man. Oh my god, look at all of these harvesters. Juicy, juicy. Oh, finds the starport. The starport is kind of a war factory. Uh, but it costs... Has a different production line, so different queue time, so you can queue it at the same time as War Factories, but all of the units in there are more expensive. I think it has a percentage or something like that, I don't know. Regardless, oh my god, it seems like Naj has completely shifted to uh, building lots of missile quads to deal with this. Oh my god. But these Devastator tanks, man, they look devastating. starting to turtle here completely deserted expansion over here keep once again trying to deal damage to these harvesters i mean it's smart he's not really engaging he's just putting his tanks onto the spice which is good because the carryalls will usually just yeah automatically drop them there oh my god oh my god that poor harvester 
No, what are you doing? Oh my god. Sabotaged. Yikes. Now trying to return the favor here. Founds a decent spot with lots of harvesters. Not really any activity from Kip nearby. And it's hard, man, because most of his army is really slow. So it's a good idea from now to go for light vehicles, because like Devastator tanks are slow. Infantry is pretty slow. So he doesn't really have anything to chase that. And instead of trying to defend his base, once again he's just going to send everything over towards Nal's expansion. But I think he has other problems. He's actually losing lots of harvesters here. But now he's also in trouble. I'm not sure if he's aware. He's he's microing these these bad boys. Oh, he's but he's going to deal. He's going to be able to deal some decent damage, merging his forces over here as well. But he might lose an expansion over here. And also feel we're getting pretty close to the end. It's going to be do or die pretty soon. Meanwhile, now is going to be able to deal some really good damage over here. This ex yeah, this expansion is done for. But let's see. Turrets are being spammed. Can not keep this expansion safe. I think he will be able to, just barely. And that's not the case for Kip, and that's going to hurt Kip quite a lot. Let's have a look at the eco real quick. 16 harvesters for Na, though. 34 for Kip still. But yeah, he has lots of hearts, but he has lost lots of riffs. And even though he has a shit ton of harvests. His income is worse than Nas, who has 15 harvesters, but with carry-alls. Oh man, yeah, that's... That was a good expansion for Kip. And my god, Kip has launched his massive attack onto this expansion from Nas. These giant concave Sardaukar are coming into play as well as the elite infantry from Harkonnen or like the special unit from them. But I think Nas should be fine here. He's building way more rocket turrets. Struggling, but I think he's good. Meanwhile, he's not even sending his army back, which I think is a good idea. He's just trying to deal as much damage as he can while trying to defend one position and I, <clears throat> I, I it's hard to say man the devastator tanks are going to be a problem but now it's getting good engagements because once again keeps rocket soldiers are just leading and they are pretty good in dealing damage to vehicles as you all know obviously they're just getting melted down by these rifles here meanwhile now, trying to kill off the next expansion. And he's going to split off his other forces to the main base. Meanwhile, the Devastator tanks are coming in. Ooh, this is close though. This is close now. He's spamming the fuck out of every building in this base. Trying to keep it safe. I think this expansion is going to be lost. Man, long, huge battle. Holy shit. I really have to go after this game though. Because as you all know, my wife is not home. And someone needs to take care of the animals. Yeah. Now defended nicely. But... He's going to lose that expansion. And seems like Kip is going to be able to keep this expansion safe. But look at this giant force that is on the way to the main from Kip. And it is almost completely deserted. There's only missile quads. And those missile quads are not going to cut it. Versus this army composition. No, no, sir. Look at that. Missile tanks really strong. 
versus these light claws. Boom, 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 bitch. I think it's time to go. It's, I'm not, man, might turn into a race here. I'm not entirely sure. Pretty deserted over here. Not that much army. Not that much army on this side. So this is... I wouldn't say an all-in. But Nah is definitely going for that main. He wants to race this. And I think he's got it. There's no army here. Kip is betting everything on this attack. But like I said, he has a slow army though. He's giving Nah some time to prepare some defenses. While Kip is basically already for forfeiting this base. And Kip is also stalling while Nah still has 15k in the bank. So he can still spam. He can still make units. Actually, I think he's going to be safe on this side for sure. And he also scouted this out as well. I think he's going to be safe on both ends. Yeah. More missile quads. Ooh, that's a cluster bomb or whatever the fuck it's called. But it was from Kip for sure. Meanwhile, not trying to snipe the rifts. It's the only damage that he can do. Just to slow down Kip's eco even more and just outproduce him. That's that's what it's all about for now. But same like Kip, Daw also down to two expansions and his eco is not the, the best here. Oh man, he's sending all of his rockets straight into the siege tanks. Still a lot of siege tanks alive. This is still really clutch. Really clutch. 17k from Na versus the 57k from Kip. Seems like it's taking a twist. I don't know, man. This is... Not looking good. Kip is going to send everything towards one place and just push forward all these devastators. Also, I don't really understand why is he not using the devastators to just crush your infantry? Doesn't that make a lot more sense? Okay, these rockets are really trading well, but once these tanks come into play, they are getting melted. Nas trading amazingly well with the units that he has. Keeps responding pretty well with focus firing certain sides, certain units. I think he's going to do it. Damn. Getting close. Is this the same game? Yup. It's the same game. Coming to an end though. Oh man, I hate StarCraft. I never liked StarCraft, for sure. It's uh I remember the first time I played StarCraft versus a friend of mine, and he like he rushed me with Marines and I'm not sure what that unit is called, but it's an aircraft. Is, is it a medivac? It's it's a fucking aircraft that can transport marines and heal them at the same time. 
and I wasn't prepared for that and I just got completely destroyed. Hey, oh, I remember playing CNC in Dune 2K and later being played in Grunts Mod version. Oh, cool, dude. This was the open array version. Uh, and we had Kip from CNC Net in here as well. But yeah, pretty good game. Kip very strong. And uh, But yeah, I think he plays Dune in and out. But still nice. Nice play from Na as well. I thought he was going to bring it back. But unfortunately, Devastator tanks really strong. And uh, yeah, that was it. And with that, I'm going to leave it for tonight. Because like I said, I have some things to do. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We made some really nice progress in Tiberian Sun today.